Good day guys, being here. Um, today we're going to um, try to create um, some structure, so something like this to uh, for this ramp. Okay, so um, let's let's do it. So first, I'm going to create a pro project, and actually, I have so this this uh, shape. Okay, so I'm going to link that PDF into. So let me I think it should be here. Okay, so link this PDF into Revit, and then just enable. Um, snaps, so we can pick lines. So I'm going to I'm going to use a floor for this. Okay, so I'll pick line, and you will see we can pick lines. Um, okay, so so because these are uh, individual uh, very short lines, I'm going to just pick the 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 edge, the one on the edge, and then I'm going to use a uh, fillet arc to finish this so now we have all uh, the these uh, and then we can use this fillet arc to finish this okay to roughly match rough, roughly and also this one okay so and also here okay so now it's finished. Let's have finish it. Have a look in 3D view. So this is a floor, a flat floor. So now we can use modify sub element. And we can roughly adjust this. Okay. So um, you might need to uh, adjust individual points to roughly get the shape. Oops. Like this, okay. So, um, actually, I'm going to quickly show you. So sometimes when you create a ramp like this one, so you, it will have it will have all these points. So when you when trying to use modify sub element, so you will have all these points, and then you need to individually um you, uh, adjust these points. So you can also do this. So I'm going to just copy this one. And edit boundary. So you can also use a spline to uh, roughly uh, match the shape of this. So you can just uh, do this. So adjust these points. You can try to match the shape of the original uh, original lines and then arcs. So I'm going to quickly do another one. So from here. And then, so you can just create, uh, so move the points. If if you found that um, not there's not enough point, you can you can also add points. Okay, so add points. So now let's uh, finish this. Uh, so before that, we need to delete uh, these lines and arc. Okay, so arc line oh sorry no not this one and this arc and this line so finish it so now you will if you use a modify sub element you will see this no longer point here and here so you can adjust the whole uh, floor or the whole ramp just by move this but still, this it's not perfect. So you will see these uh, extra lines there. But yeah, so at least uh, uh, sometimes it will be easier to. Uh, sorry, it will be easier than uh, this one. Okay, so now let's uh, continue um, today's exercise, which um, we're going to place some structure underneath. Okay, so so the method uh, we're going to use today is uh, we're going to use mass and also we're going to use adaptive family. So let's first create 
an adaptive family. So this adaptive family will be used for the profile. Okay, so create a, a adaptive family and first place two points. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, let me just ah so so this is the the, the profile. So we're going to create an adaptive so point one and point two so and then we are going to place it so for example this is a section of the ramp so place point one and point two it will automatically create a shape like this okay then once we have multiple uh, uh, of this profile along the um, the the ramp and then we can connect them and create a, a mass okay so now let's continue this so two points create make let's make adaptive create a line and make it a reference line so we need to so i just come here so we need to place so in uh, uh, other than these two adaptive points we need 3.3.4.5.6 point Okay, so point six and point three and point six can be simply offset from point one and point point two. Point four and point five will be offset from point uh, this. So let's call it a seven. But point seven can be placed on point eight. Okay, so so we first we need to create a point eight. So point draw on face, place it on here. And then place another point draw on work plan, set work plan, pick the horizontal. So tab, tab, and place it on this point. Click OK. So now let's select this point. So you can drag this up. So make this positive and then change this one uh, rotation angle to 180. So it will go down. So now we can create an offset. So this will be the thickness the overall thickness of this profile uh, oh, sorry not this one so this one will be the distance from seven to eight okay so let's call it um, oh, let's call it a a and instance and okay and okay so then we place two points. So draw on word plan, set word plan. Pick the vertical word plan of this point and place it on this point. So now we can offset so this way. And then this will be so if you point from point seven to point five, this distance. Let's call it B. Okay, so create a new parameter. Let's call it B instance and okay and okay so then we we need to create another one so op opposite um, direction and select it move this it this way so it will be a negative so we're going to create a new parameter let's call it b negative instance okay and okay so go to family types so b negative equals negative b apply okay so now if i move this one it will also move the other point so now we have point um, four and five so then we can create point three and six so point draw on word plan set word plan pick the horizontal word plan of this point and place it on point one and another one so set word plan pick the horizontal word plan place it on point two so now we can drag this down and down so select both of them because the offset will be the same. So let's create a new parameter. So because I want it, want um, we're going to create this as C, but because it's a negative, I'm going to just call it C negative. Okay. So and then I'm going to go to family types, create a new parameter. I'll call it a C instance and OK. So then I'm going to um actually i'm going to type in a number for now and then c negative i'll use negative c and also for the i'm going to move these parameter into different group other and also this one because they are controlled by formula so i don't need to see them here so now we have a b 
C. Click OK, and that's it. So now we can connect all these points. So these two, these two, this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and these two, and also point one and point two, and create. So we need uh, them to be model line, so we can use them in the project and create a mass. Um, okay, so now let's have a look. So when I move point two, you will see this shape, it changes. So what we want to do is, is we want to, um, so we want to keep the shape of, of this profile. So instead of, you know, you can see change the size, we want the, um, the, these offsets, the A, B, and C change accordingly. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a reporting parameter. So set verb set and pick this verb plan of this reference line. Dimension di, pick this adaptive point, adaptive point. So this, we need to create a reporting parameter. So let's call it our pay instance and the reporting. And then we're going to create three different um, number parameter so we which uh, we can use to control control the shape of this profile so i'm going to call it x y and z but this time i'm going to use type parameter and change it to number okay so okay so another one y change it to number instance okay another one z number and type so now i'm going to so actually um i'm going to move this into dimension and uh oh actually um yeah that's fine because a b and c will be controlled by formula and actually this a x y z become the 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 um the one to control this family so maybe I, maybe I'll just move this back to dimension. Sorry about that. Dimension, oh, not that, not data. Uh, D, dimension, and okay. So move this one back to dimension as well. Okay, so now we have X, Y, Z, oh, this one. Let me change this to type. Okay, so I'm going to type in some random number for now and and then we're going to use reporting parameter so i'm going to use uh, x oh no i'm going to put x um with uh a okay so a b and c so i'll use reporting parameter times x and this one's reporting times y and also C is reporting times Z. So apply and OK. So now let's have a look. OK, so it looks like the, I think this is A. We need to increase the A. So let's increase the A, which is X, 0 0.5. Apply. Yep, things better. And probably need to reduce, uh, I think this is C, which is controlled by Z. And then maybe reduce the the B as well, so which is controlled by Y. So now I think this shape is roughly okay. So now this time, if I move the point two, you will see the shape will stay the same. Okay. So now we can load this into. But before that, we need to check this box always vertical. Okay. So now let's load this into the project. OK, so we, we can place it now, but uh, we uh, we won't be able to create a mess from this because it's more like a model line. So we need to go to component, oh, cancel this, go component and create a model in place mess. OK, OK, so now go back to component and then this is uh, we can place this about adaptive family inside this model in place mass. So once 
So I'm going to just quickly place uh, one, two, three, four. Let's try. So uh, create four. That's it. So um, because this actually because the shape of this ramp is very uh, irregular, so it's not 100% uh, match. But if you if you wanted to, you can actually, um, let me just uh, remove this. You can do this. So you can, uh, depending on, so you can create a, a multiple, or you can simply increase the number of this. So for example, I'll just create more. So if you create more of the profile, the more you have, the closer it will get. Okay, so I'll just select all, create four. So you will see it will uh, closer to uh, ma uh, will match the, the shape of the ramp. So still not perfect, but this is uh, simply because of the shape of this ramp. So, okay, so let's finish this one. So let's create another one. So um, I'm going to create another floor. Okay, so this time I'm going to, I'll just to create two straight line here and here and maybe I'll use spline okay I'll use spline to create some interesting shape oh sorry drag this to here okay so and then finish it so now we can just modify sub element move this up a little bit so now it's a it's a it's a ramp <laughs> and then we can go model model in place and create a mess and okay and go component so we can start to place this profile so one two um okay so it looks like we have some issue here um so what's going on so let's have a look maybe it's because when we place so try to place, um, yeah, it looks okay. Maybe drag this back and drag this back. Yeah, all works. I think it's probably because we placed onto, um, onto instead of this edge and place onto this edge and then the orientation or something just um, doesn't work. So um, anyways. So we can always place onto this edge and then adjust them. Okay, so oops, not on the face. We need to create place onto the edge. It's a little bit hard. Oh, what's going on here? Um, here. Yeah. 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 So last one. Okay. So now let's select all SA, create a all. So sometimes when you when you type SA, it I think it will also select you know outside of this mass. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And it was S13, so maybe instead of SA, we'll just select manually, create a form, and that's it. Okay. So uh, um, of course you can you can adjust them because we have type parameter for them, and also you can move the points. So this will slightly change the shape as well. So you can move this point. Move this point, yeah. Move this, or you can also do this. I think because it's placed on this, this edge, you can use this to change, adjust, adjust, right? It's just like um, when you place a point on a reference line, you can adjust the. Um, oh, this one looks like we need to. It's not being. It's not on the edge we can use 
select the point and pick new host and pick the edge. Okay, so and move this point down here and maybe move this point. Oh, what's going on here? Doesn't it looks like something's not quite right. So if I move this to here, it shouldn't ch change this. Yeah, I think no. We need to. You, oh, sorry. You need to try to pick that point first and move it. So if if you drag it straight away, it will move both. Sometimes <laughs> it will move both. Maybe drag here. So you will see it will move both point. So make sure you pick on the point and adjust it. Okay, that's that's enough. <laughs> so now we can also uh, give it a material. So for example, I'll just uh, give it a concrete. So a shade. So this is it. And also we still we can still adjust the shape. So if you select one of the family edit type. So we have X, Y, and Z. So for example, we can change the, we can still change the shape. Zero point one. Yeah, something like that. Okay. So, um, and finish it. So let me just delete this. Okay, so good thing about this is if you, add, so for example, this is a floor. If I move, if at some stage I want to adjust the, adjust the shape, adjust the size, right? And I don't need to do anything. So it will automatically, the mat, the massing will automatically ma match the shape of the floor. Okay, so finish, and then you will see still matching. Okay, so that's it. Um, if you have any question, please let me know. I'll um, I'll upload this uh, for you. So um, that's it. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.